Welcome to Electron Online and now let's take a look at what we call UBV photometry. What that means is that we try to measure the brightness of stars based upon their color and determine their color is not as easy as you might think. You know, we look up and say, oh, there's a red star, but it's not that easy. We want to know exactly the color of that star so we can find the exact temperature and size and so forth of the star. The way we do that is we take a look through a telescope at the same star using various filters and the three most common filters we use are what we call the UBV filters. The U filter is a filter that predominates through UV radiation, especially at the 364 nanometer range and, beyond, and a little bit on both sides of that uh, wavelength. The B filter predominantly lets through blue light, uh, mostly at the 442 nanometers and a little bit plus or minus uh, on that. And then we have the V filter which predominantly lets through the visible light and it's centered around the yellow-green color at 540 nanometers, which is a color that the human eye is most sensitive to. So what we do is we take a look, let's say we take a look at the star right here, and we measure the light coming from the star in, with the V filter, the visible light filter, and we find out, relatively speaking, for that star, because it could be far away, it could be close, it could be a large star, it could be a small star, it doesn't matter, we're not comparing the intensities or the brightnesses of the individual measurements to the other stars. We're simply comparing it to the measurement on the same star with a different filter. And so if we look at it with a visible filter, even though most of the radiation is in the infrared band, relative to the light coming to us from that star in the, with the blue color filter or with the UV filter, it has a high throughput. A lot of energy comes through the filter when we use a visible filter relatively speaking. Then we look at the same star again with a blue filter and we find out the amount of energy coming through the filter is much lower and then finally we try to measure the intensity coming from that star with the UV filter and we find that very little UV actually comes from that star. So then what we do is we find the ratios of those. So we compare the ratio, the, the brightness with the visible filter divided by the brightness with the uh, blue filter and we find that that ratio is very large. That ratio is greater, and I shouldn't put an equal sign there, uh, simply that ratio is greater than one, which means we get more energy in the visible light spectrum than we do in the blue light spectrum. And then if we compare the uh, brightness in the blue spectrum divided by the brightness in the UV spectrum, and again we find a ratio greater than one. If that's the case, we then conclude that it is more of a reddish looking star, a star more to the right of the spectrum, more to the infrared and the red, and so depending upon how much greater is than one, we can find out the exact color with these two ratios right here. If we now look at the second uh, star and we find that uh, we look at the ratio of the light coming through at the visible light spectrum versus the blue light spectrum, uh, so we get B of V divided by B of blue. Well, we find that the ratio is greater than one, but not quite as great as this one. So maybe we want to write it like this, that this ratio is much, much greater than one. This ratio is somewhat greater than one. And that's how we can tell the difference between a blue star and one that's more orange or yellow in color. Then if we measure the, the light throughput at the blue, uh, with the blue filter compared to light output with the violet filter, again, we find that these are this ratio is greater than one, and so therefore we can conclude, based upon these ratios, what type of star we're dealing with. Finally, when we look at a very bright blue star, we take the ratio of the visible light spectrum compared to the ratio of the blue light spectrum. For other words, the amount of light coming through at visible light versus the light coming through only at the blue light, and we find that that ratio is less than one, which shows that the highest intensity falls to the left of visible light and so you can see that the blue spectrum would have more intensity than the rest of the visible light spectrum. So we find a ratio less than one. And then if we compare the light coming through at the, with the blue filter compared to the light coming through with the UV filter, again, we find out that that ratio is also less than one, which would then indicate if both of those ratios are less than one, we're probably dealing with a very bright blue looking star or very hot white star. And again, that's how we determine the exact color. Now, we haven't done justice yet with how we exactly pinpoint the exact color and therefore the exact temperature of the star, but once we put the real ratios in there, we'll get something that looks very close to what we're used to using uh, with this kind of what we call UBV photometry. Here, we just want to get the feel of how the mechanism works. Simply, we can tell what kind of star we're dealing with by simply looking 
at the star with three different filters, finding the brightness ratio using the three different filters, and then based upon the outcome of that, we can see that we're dealing either with a red star, orange star, blue star, or a star that is so hot that it puts out a lot of UV radiation. And that's how we do that.